All right, everybody, I hope you're ready for a little post-apocalyptic zombie strategic banger as we are here checking out Dead Grid. Now, this one right here, to me at least, um, if you're familiar with the game Dead Age, which is something we covered quite a few years back, and it was a sequel, but I wasn't necessarily too crazy about the sequel. But the first one was actually really fun. This, to me, feels like a mixture of, like, Dead Age meets maybe, like, uh, it's gonna sound crazy, but like a tabletop game, kind of like a little bit of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe even Magic the Gathering, as you'll soon see what I mean. Like, it has these elements that reminds me so much of that, and it actually works out quite well. Let's get to it. Okay, so we pick up here in June 20, 1990. Unknown location. But we do know is that there is apparently a lot of dead zombie right there. There's something about these um, old school like PS2 type 3D graphics that are just so nostalgic to me, I guess. <laughs> After two years of studying the undead, starting with the initial outbreak, I finally had a major breakthrough. The ones helping me along the way are all... We, um... <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Some were bitten on supply runs, some had enough and took their own life. I'm all alone now, so I decided to head east. I've heard of a large military installation, maybe I can find a working radio. I must get this research into right hands. End of log. And that right there is our very quick introduction. Love it. As you can see, we're going to be moving like around grid base like that we can actually explore whenever the maps open up to us. But right now we have an unexplored area coming up ahead of us. Two undead. There may be more. Let's find out. As I mentioned, this is where it feels like, you know, for me, it's like, you know, post-apocalyptic zombie Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? So, um, drag Merc onto the weapon. So right now, we have found random pickups. In fights, you'll sometimes also have, like, random events like this. So we have found the melee weapon. We want that, because we got nothing to our name right now. So Ron, pick up the melee weapon. And that's going to be right there. We're going to go ahead and drag that and equip it onto ourselves. You know, kind of like buffing yourself up in a Yu-Gi-Oh game. By the way, don't... Ask me about Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't actually played it since, like, you know, maybe that first, or the, I don't know, it's the first series, you know, with Pegasus and all those people that one wrapped up. After that, I don't know a thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. But before then, oh man, I was all up in that. Um, end of turn. At the moment, we have 55 HP. We have a damage potential of 11. And we don't necessarily always 100% hit, based on the weapons we have. You know, there's chances to miss, so it's still a very much strategic game where it's, you know, you gotta think about things before you actually do them. Stamina is also very important because if you're tired, you can't attack. But right now, this guy has 14 HP. This is going to be Starving Steve, in case you're wondering. He's not a Starving Marvin, he's a Starving Steve. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attack Starving Steve. We're going to a 3. Our durability of our weapons right there. Our weapons will eventually break. You could reload them if you got guns. You can find more bullets, obviously. Um, for melee weapons, though, after a while, they will break down. You can't fix them, however, which is the upside. And our turn right there. Oh! We have a couple of other friends showing up. Now, this is very important because the longer these fights drag out or the type of weapon you use, you can make noise. You make noise, um, guess what happens? This area starts filling up with a lot more zombies, which is a lot more difficult for you. This gentleman is another starving Steve. He does have less HP, so one hit should be enough to take him out. Let's see. A police car. You know what? This actually might be the starting weapon, if I'm correct. So, we're going to loot that. We got her snubby. First range gun right there, or at least range weapon. <laughs> range gun, you know. This gun in particular happens to be a range one, as opposed to my melee gun. So we found a gun, equip that as well. Right. We can equip two things at the same time when it comes to weapons. A melee one, and a range one, which is very, very little cool. And we can toggle with right click. Really should get going. And that turn. Arrgh. Starving James, okay. No longer starving Steam's as James, so... He takes 10 to perish. Now, I'm going to save my my weapon, my, my gun, my ammunition, because again, it also makes a lot more noise, and that's going to instigate further fights for us. Let's stick to the melee weapon for now. And turn. And we have a random event. This is an event card. Some events assist you, and some may give you a challenge. This event grants you two consumable cards for a state and ammo. Sounds good to me, right? Now, we got our very first survivor. This guy is going to be able to hook up our equipment, give us upgrades. We will be able to buy from him, etc., etc. Uh, let's see if I could read a little bit about our boy here, Slade. I know, I know, you got enough to do. This is going to be 
Slade, he runs the camp trade station buying and selling items for supplies. Slade ran the gas station with his father for many years right up to the point the apocalypse happened. He says his father is gone, but no one knows for certain. He's going to give us some things for free to start off with, which is very nice of him. But this is going to be about upgrading now. We have two shovels, right? Which I guess we just got from that thing they gave us for free. We could go to the upgrade cab and because we have two shelves, we can combine them to make a standard level. Are you hearing this? I need your help. I was in my supply room when the undead surrounded the house I was in. The house is just down the road, not far from our camp. Make sure or make your way to me and watch out for stragglers. There must be more of them on the way. One more thing. I left a handgun in my blue truck on the road. You should take it. And then you'll get like a bunch of different little uh, side objectives that sometimes you'll do. Sometimes you might skip if it feels like, you know, you might not make it out of this mission alive if you do swerve off the objective pad too much, you know? We have two undead. Okay. This is going to be Hungry Adeline. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to have a couple of explosives on hand, so let's see about maybe lucking out with that. And we found... Dynamite. Throw an explosive dealing 12 damage. Well, it should probably do more, considering it's a dynamite, right? But more than likely, it also is going to be very loud, and this also scales with masteries and causes massive noise, as you could probably imagine. Okay, now what about us? Switch over to melee. Take care of her. And that's good. End that turn. We might toss that dynamite at the end, we'll see. Assuming there's another enemy coming up, we might throw it at him. This is going to be Starving Jim, who, um, <laughs> it's got a trash can on his head. I guess he was just digging in there for some food, huh? Uh, let's see here. Select one card, find accessory, and basic shield. Hmm. Can't say I've messed around with a shield before. It'd actually be kind of cool. Nope. Didn't succeed. We got moldy bread. Smells bad even through the gas mask. You, uh, you know, don't want to use that tech, speaking. So, let's smack um, old trash can Zombo away. And that turn. Oh, no zombie after all. We got a duffel bag. Now, I do believe the things that you actually don't use, you, you do get to keep. So, there is that. Um, so, that's fine. Area cleared. And we'll check out all of our loot at the end here. No loot remaining. Over here, we got, what is that? Spotted two undead. There may be more. Proceed with caution. It's a duffel bag. This is where the blue truck should technically be right there as well, so... We might find our gun. We already got a snubby, so like a shotgun would be nice. But... We also got a select card down here. Let's see about finding a melee weapon. No such luck. We got moldy cheese. That's fine. Let's bring down Camilla. And end our turn. 14 on that one. We need to get a dodge on that one, so that is good. Surprise attack! A random merc in play performs a melee strike against a random enemy dealing 150 damage. Yeah, we could do that. This is on cooldown, and we got repair tools as well. I mean, I don't feel like we're too much in danger. I need to get out of here really quick to do this, so let's instead roll the dice and... Oh. <laughs> Bloody ear. How about that? 12 damage is going to do a lot of noise. I don't know what's over there waiting for us just yet, so we should wait. Let's definitely take care of um, this one, though. As we're looking for those one hit one kills. And uh, No, you know what? I might do it next turn though. I might do it next turn. Oh, well, I was gonna probably do it if we had another zombie to deal with. But then again, we could just hit him once and toss a dynamite and get rid of him in one turn right now coming up, so there is that. Um search the area, 35% chance to discover random item of decent value. Find a range weapon. And accessory. I mean, we're going to probably get a gun right now with Slate's truck, so let's get an accessory, maybe? Nope. Smelly trash bag instead. So here's what we do. Bad idea. Dynamite to... This boy. Whatever was next to this man right now, I was not aware of that. I never actually used a dynamite before. But I wanted to, you know, get experimental with this video. Probably, um, good information to know going forward, at least, huh? Don't use that next to items, yeah. I like that feature, though, to be honest with you. All right. Now, let's see about interacting with that. And we got Slate's Custom and a bloody meal as well. So that's done with. Let's go and um, save Slade. There's at least four undead. 
So this one's gonna be a bit more hefty. What do you want to start off with? These guys are tough. And search the area. Let's just search for now. Oh, we got another one too. Spoiled food. Let's start off here by getting rid of you. Ooh. Apparently on story missions we get full on animations as well. How about that? We really should get going. All right. End turn. Nah, this guy's wearing a uh, box on his head. This is Box Dan. Box Dan. Find a melee weapon, find a basic shield. I mean, as much as I would like to get a second one so we can maybe hopefully roll the same one and then upgrade it. I would like to have a backup weapon just in case, you know, just in case. Or we could just get some multi-cheese. Sure, there, there is that as well. And that'll be it. We'll search after. We're done here, Slater. Excellent. That's all done now. Let's check out this trash bin. Plastic shield. Doubt we'd be able to, uh, you know, combine that with the one that we have, unfortunately, but, you know, at least we got it. Find a second one. We'll be good. First aid, ammo, and sweetie. Okay, so we got tons and tons of loot here. Let's Don't see. Worry. I got you covered. Ned Coomer. <laughs> yes, I know it's, it's Coomer, but whatever. I'm going to call it Ned Coomer. Well then, we do have five skills to hand away here, so let's probably do so. I'm, I'm loving, as you could probably imagine, my first go-to when it comes to apocalyptic situations with zombies is melee, so I'm definitely going to probably stick to that. So we got our parry chance now with this, and field training, plus one HP to all leader mercs. Each draw of this skill in combat improves the benefit by, I mean, not really too much to be honest, but... Now, if we go over to the laboratory, we have things to research. Survival, efficiency, and virology. The problem, though, is um, locate a survivor to handle this research station. So we need survivors for that to begin with. For this one, complete the mission roadblock. Complete the mission Pine Valley Police Department. And complete mission water supply. So, And before we take off for our last mission for today, let's see here. With Ron, we got three unspent points for training. I mean, I'm focusing on melee, so there is that shield, blunt melee weapon, and sharp melee weapon. So in case we do move to Katana, we might want to, you know, invest in that one here. This is going to be for unarmed. It's basically running around boxing zombies. What an absolute baller. Well, let's drop one into melee for one. Jackpot. And... Let's have one into that one and the second one. I eventually want to test out the katana for sure, but uh, let's stick to blunt weapons for now because we have a couple more of those than we have the katanas. Oh, this is um, Slade's gas station, right? Okay, so his gas station's further away. Yeah, I ran the damn place for nearly two decades. Listen, Ron, our generators are almost out of fuel, and it's the closest source. I need your help to clear the undead and allow me to siphon that gas. By the way, I spotted another merc like you. Nice, so we may actually get our very first recruit. That's our location over there. Uh, we got three undead to deal with. Let's do so. Starving Roger. Suitcase. And rubble. Okay. Uh, let's see about... Uh, range weapon? No. Smelly trash bag instead. Bring this guy down. And turn. <laughs> this guy's wearing a sign. Roadside Jimmy. Oh, it's like a roadside sign. How about that? Greedy Scout? Sure. And stay alert. No AP to actually activate it though. Soon we'll have some, don't worry. Now we can kill this guy in one hit, unfortunately. And turn. He's brought a friend. And we've lost a little bit of attack power right there, which more than likely has to do with um, stamina loss, so there is that. Uh, surprise attack. Don't really feel like we need that just yet. Some repair tools for the future would be nice, unfortunately, none right there. Let's bring this up and try out melee weapon for a backup and accessories. And we got a bone club. Low damage, though. And a beanie. Another merc has been watching you from a distance and decided to join your operation. This merc can now accompany you on any future missions. Let's go. Why, why, why is he showing up asleep? Did this man just sleepwalk over to my fight with zombies? How is he keeping an eye on me if he's asleep? Grave, wake up. <laughs> he's preparing. Must wait until next turn of performing any actions. Oh, it's just like, kind of like when you first deploy a card in Yu-Gi-Oh! You can't automatically use it. Now without a special type of ritual or some other skill involved. I got gotcha. you. Search the area. Empty can. You'd love to see it. 
and turn. Shuffle back. Uh, 55 of seven, 61 HP. Not too bad. All right, so Graves ready to go. Um, do we need a surprise attack? Not really. But we got it. Might as well use it. That was easy. No more zombies. And our last location is we're gonna siphon the gas up. So this is where the blunt of our fighting should probably take place. A lot of cards there waiting for us to select one card. Uh, let me get the ranged weapon. Not really a ranged weapon. I mean, you could toss it maybe at somebody that could be a ranged weapon, but that ideally want to do. So 2420 and rotting corpses can be ignited by sitting. Wait a second. Can be ignited setting adjacent enemies on fire for 10% damage at the end of every turn. Fifty percent chance to explode if damaged by firearm. That's the one. That's the key. We use him to set that on fire. Okay. All right. I feel you. You know what I'm doing? Then? I am going to start off by taking the siphon gas first. Ooh, we even got a molly. Well, you know, if you don't light him on fire, you can toss a molly on that. All right. As a matter of fact, maybe now I could even toss this over here, right? All right, boys, let's see if this works out. I mean, this is looted already. You better not count it against me. It's, it's been looted. <laughs> He's on fire. Let's go. And then if we shoot this guy, he could probably also light that one over there, too. So let's see about um, Grave. Take a shot, right? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> This is awesome. All right. And now, uh, Ronnie boy, let's go ahead and uh, finish up this guy right here. No splice and turn. There's a lot of noise out there, though, unfortunately. More siphon gas. That we should probably take. Don't shoot that. So, hmm. You're on fire. Got a suitcase right there. 17 damage, 21 damage. Let's see about... Taking care, you do five damage. Let's take care of you first. Now I hope the rotting corpses don't affect destroyed after taking explosive or firearm damage. Okay, I hope that doesn't. Um, I hope you just chill there. Meanwhile, I get rid of the zombies and then we'll come after you. There's more exploding zombies, so if we want to shoot them, and we should, we gotta loot first. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. so. You take siphon gas. Walkie talk. Get another attack on turn. Oh, a baseball bat. Oh. I gotta take this bad boys. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the baseball bats when it comes to these games. And now, with that done, Grave, you, Blat, right here. Oh, it didn't blow up, unfortunately. That's gonna hurt. We got some tasty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Grab you want you want some tasty nuts, boil? Okay. A alert distant enemy. 44, 45. That keeps going up. Ooh! Ooh, that guy went pop. Um I know we might alert some more dudes here by making noise, but again, if we could just blow these guys up, we'd be fine. Yeah! Ooh! His head just flew and hit us in the thing. It's a 3D. The 3D effect is what that was. Uh, let's see. What about you? Same thing. Let's go for it. Ah, didn't blow them up. Did not blow them up. End turn. Oh! Zombie showed up because of the noise. Well, that worked. <laughs> that definitely still worked, though. All skills are on cooldown. You must wait another turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're all on cooldown. That's fine. At least we can still finish this off, right? Go back to melee, boys. I think we're just about done here, right? Oh, no. This guy can't. Well, he should die, basically, based on the fire itself. So, you know what? Do this. Do that. Then we'll get the suitcase afterwards, and we should be done. Beautiful. And this is actually really fun once you kind of get it rolling and like you have all these effects happening, you start interacting with things that you could blow up. That's a really cool little feature. 
Awesome. Well, there you guys have it. This has been Dead Grid. All the information for this will be down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. If you'd like to see more from me, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video. And we can definitely come back and do yes. some more of this. Surprisingly really fun. I'll catch you guys next time.